Eight years ago, a Poberesny won't be running it. Tom Poberesny has led EAA as its chairman since 1989 when his father Paul retired, and today he said he's retiring. Even though Poberesny wouldn't talk about it, Fox 11's Lindsay Vermis has a closer look tonight at the Poberesny legacy and what's next for the organization. The man who's had the helm of EAA Air Venture for more than 30 years could boast about many things. But he doesn't. Tom Poberesny announced his retirement but wasn't available to talk about it. Instead, those he impacted are doing the talking. It's pretty, it's, I don't know, emotional maybe, I guess. It kind of, he kind of talked very passionately about getting the youth involved and he wanted to do more. And, and then here I am doing something like this. Eric Krause met Poporezny at a summer camp. He says the EAA chairman inspired him. Now he's building planes and pursuing aerospace engineering. While Poborezny has led from the ground and entertained in the sky, he has said he's most proud of his work with young people. It will be different. Uh, Tom, of course, has been part of the organization for 40 years and has done an incredible amount of things for the good of not only EAA, but aviation as well. In a statement, Poborezny said, I am so proud of what we have been able to accomplish during my tenure, but adds that fresh thinking and new ideas are the fuel to propel us forward. He'll pass the torch to EAA President Ron Hightower on Monday. However, Poborezny won't be walking away from the organization altogether. He says he'll stay on as an informal advisor, friend, and ambassador to programs like the Young Eagles. It introduces children to aviation and has offered flights to more than 1.6 million young people since 1992. Encouraging um, the pilots to fly, trying to find different venues, of rewarding the pilots for the flights, and he's just always been a real advocate for us. And for future aviators. I know that I want to get an aerobatic airplane. Don't yet know his name. In Oshkosh, Lindsay Vermes, Fox 11 News. Of course, Paul Berezny was uh, an aerobatic pilot in his own right, part of the Eagles aerobatic team, previously known as the Red Devils. The organization says Paul Berezny has worked closely with his successor to try to help make sure that uh, his successor is ready for the job. Still at EAA.